Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Um, in the home studio today, working a little bit on this latest commission painting, and I'm really excited how it's coming along. It's been a lot of fun. I'm gonna be doing a full uh, time lapse like I usually do, but today I thought it'd be kind of fun to focus on a more tutorial style video, specifically uh, regarding our aspen trees here. And today I'm working on some of the highlights and the details and wanted to talk a little bit about the process I've used to help bring these trees to life. So you can see here that I already have my canvas prepped. I've already put a couple layers of gesso down. Um, and on my last application, I mixed in a little bit of yellow ochre. So that's that yellowish tone that you see across the canvas. It just helps establish uh, a warm ground or a warm mid-tones throughout the painting. And uh, I did make another video about, you know, how to prep a canvas with, um, with gesso. So you can check that out. And you can also see that um, I have a, a rough outline, a rough sketch of our forest and our meadow. I'm not too worried about the background. I'm just wanting to establish a tone, um, especially because, uh, you know, trees, shrubbery and leaves, they're going to be, you know, in the foreground, going to be covering those areas. For anyone wondering, this particular canvas um, was a 24 by 36 inch gallery wrapped canvas. Now I am slowly working on building out the shape and character of my aspen trees uh, using a little bit of combination of titanium white, Mars black, a little bit of raw umber and burnt umber. Um, just trying to establish different mid-tones for these trees. Obviously there's a lot of detail to go, uh, but just trying to build um, some character into these trees, make, make them, you know, different sizes shapes, leaning different ways.
And same thing here um, on our forest floor. I'm not worried about any details. I'm just trying to um, get down a base layer of a mid-tone. So I'm not worried about any highlights or, or dark shadows, just establishing the tone of uh, the forest floor on this section of the painting. As I mentioned before, a lot of the background is gonna be covered in this particular forest painting, but there are some trees, this pine tree, for instance, that I'm taking just a little bit of extra time and adding um, details, highlights, uh, because I know that it's gonna stand out and I want it to um, just look, look great because I know a lot of it is not gonna be covered like some of our other areas. Always try to remember where your light source is coming from. This particular piece, the sun is bright, the rays and the light is gonna be shining through these trees. So as you add the details, especially the, the highlights um, from the sun, just keep in mind um, where, where that light source is coming from. So here we go, we have a nice good foundation and background. Um, we have our trees mapped out. Um, you can see that we have base tones um, established for these. Um, some are a little bit more gray, others are a little bit more warm. So acrylic paints are a lot of fun. Um, it's all about layer upon layer. It's all about adding you know, depth and character and detail as you slowly build um, off of those mid-tones that we've already established. So now with our trees, um, I'm just going back in and starting to add in some of the lighter tones, you know, um, using a combination of um, titanium white, um, just a little bit of Mars black, I don't just want, you know, a straight gray color. So I've, I've introduced a little bit of raw umber, burnt umber, or um, yellow ochre. And I'm trying to just alternate throughout the trees. I don't want them all to be the same tone. 
and the same value. I want some trees um, to look a little bit more gray, a little bit more white, and maybe others um, have a little bit more of a warm tone to them. But just taking some time and slowly building out the uh, lighter tones here. Up to this point, I'm not so worried about um, the brushes that I've been using. Uh, this one in particular, <laughs> it's uh, pretty old. It was just a, um, it was just a flat brush, uh, but now all the bristles are, are pretty um, gnarled and and wiry. But um, I kind of like it. It's just kind of my go-to, and it just helps add um, a little bit of texture. Um, I've I've used a filbert brush. Um, some flat brushes up to this point. So now we're ready to start adding in some of these um, fun, finite details. Um, my palette here is a combination of Mars Black, Burnt Umber, Raw Umber, um, a little bit of Titanium White, and um, Yellow Ochre and Raw Sienna. So now I can come in and add in all these fun, uh, finite details to our trees. You know, all the the knots and the gashes, you know, where the, the bark is peeling away. Um, the kind of that ring look that appears on a lot of the aspen trees and the little specks. I guess that's one of the fun things about building a, an aspen grove <laughs> and, and through painting is, is just trying to be um, spontaneous right and make every tree different unique um you know I, I tried to not cookie cutter it and make every tree look the same I, I wanted each tree to have its own character and um i mean that's the beauty about nature is is how different it is the variety And once again, I'm always trying to be cognizant of the light source and where that sun is gonna be shining through so that I can add the appropriate shadowing and, and shading on each tree um, in relation to that sun.
So now that I've already added a lot of those um, dark details, um, I'm, I'm, I want to come back in and get um, a little bit um, lighter gray. So with, you know, titanium white and a little bit of um, raw sienna and um, burnt umber, I'm just mixing in yeah, kind of a warm gray, I guess you could call it, just to come back in and add um, some of those more um, finite details that I don't want um, to be so dark. So this particular piece, once again, it's very bright. Um, the sun is just pouring through these trees. And a lot of times when you look at, you know, aspen groves, you, you know, those trees are just look very white. Um, the, and so I wanted these to, to pop. And so it's not straight titanium white, um, but there is a tiny bit of either burnt umber or yellow ochre or a tiny bit of Mars black, but it's a very, very, very light gray. Um, almost pure white and just using that color and just adding in some of these last fun details uh, to really help the trees, like I said, uh, pop and, and uh, come to life.
So there we have it. Um, yeah, I think we've established uh, a good tone. It's a very warm piece. Um, you know, we have our background. Um, we've, you know, added in all of our, our birch trees. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Uh, I really appreciate it. Um, I hope this was useful. And I would love for you to join me on my next uh, video, uh, part two of this series, where I'll go into more detail in adding the, the leaves and the branches and just really bringing some more color into this piece. And I'm really looking forward to that. And uh, yeah, please subscribe if you'd like to continue following along. And I appreciate the support. See you guys on the next video. Cheers.